Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Cherryboy, and welcome back to Sakura Santa. Now let's get right back into it. Maybe I should visit her again and get that revenge. Indeed we should. Let's see what that sneaky fox is up to. Yep, we'll continue with the Akina route. I wonder what Akina's doing right now. Pro probably something silly. Probably something silly. Although as silly as she is, well, she's really cute. She's really cute. I think I'll go visit her today. After all, someone has to make sure that she isn't getting into too much mischief. Who, know, who knows what she's doing now? Who knows what she's doing now? Sorry, as usual, the shrine is abandoned. I can't see Akina anywhere. Hey, Akina! Hey, Akina! I know you're around here somewhere, you cheeky fox! <laughs> I know you're around here somewhere, you cheeky fox! I know you're around here somewhere, you cheeky fox! <laughs> you cheeky fox! Sorry. Huh, no response. Hey, let me do it one more time. Sorry, fam! Hey, Akina! I know you're around here somewhere, you cheeky fox! I know you're around here somewhere, you cheeky fox. Huh, no response. Come on, there's no point in hiding now. <laughs> Come on, there's no point in hiding now. I know you're out there. You know I'll find you eventually. <laughs> Still dead sound around here. Hmm, you know I'll find you. Did something happen to her or something? I hear something clatter across the ground. Something small and round. A button? Why is the button? Why is there a button here? Come to think of it, where did this button come from? Is that fox playing some kind of trick on me again? I wouldn't put it past her. Akina! Akina, come on! Where are you? Koji... Can you tell me... Koji... No, I'm like... Koji... No. Koji... Can you tell me how this looks on me? How... how what looks... how what looks on you? It's in that moment that Akina steps out from her hiding place. <coughs> <laughs> the waifu is wearing an outfit! I love it! You look adorable! You look adorable in that, Akina! Is that what, a schoolgirl outfit? You look great in it either way. I love it. The perverted part of my brain caused me to simply look on and on. <laughs> Akina stands right before me. Is, is that a schoolgirl's uniform? But more importantly, the front button of her shirt doesn't contain her chest at all! <laughs> Popped off. Like raging torrents, they press against the dam that are her, that are her buttons, threatening sp to spill loose at any moment. As I look further down, her tiny mi miniskirt does nothing to obscure her panties. Wait, panties? Wait, panties? The entire outfit is incredibly easy on the ice. For now, I'll just enjoy the view. Well, what do you think? Well, I do like it, but why are you dressed that way in the first place? Well, the priest told me about this thing called the internet. So I used his computer and found all these images on it. These outfits are really popular, aren't they? Uh, I should have known that there was something up with that priest. While I am certain that he is utterly diabolical, I cannot but admit that he has excellent taste. <laughs> it's... it's so tight, though. I don't, I don't fit in this outfit. As she says that, another button pops off her shirt, revealing even more cleavage! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what size to order, so I ended up getting one that was too small. Aren't you concerned by the fact that it's falling apart? <laughs> are you concerned by the fact that it's falling apart? No, are you? Are you? Well, I'm anticipating it, but is that really the same thing as concerned? <laughs> just, just imagine, just imagine, Koji, as each button slowly falls off, tearing itself open, for your eyes to enjoy the inevitable feast. She looks around behind her. Oh, I think I dropped something. She bends over, letting me have an excellent view of her panties, the booty. Even more buttons burst off as she, as her bus puts even more pressure on her shirt. <laughs> more and more of her amazing chest spills out of it. Oh my, Koji, you're looking at me with such lustful eyes. It makes me all excited. She wiggles her butt as she says that. <laughs> okay, Fox, you win. You win. I'm a pervert. I admit it. You finally done it. At last, at last, I have defeated you. Why are you still wiggling your butt then? Because I feel like it. After all, having Koji, Koji watch me like this make me fe makes me feel perverted too. Oh god, I get it. Why? I get it. You're too good. After she gets dressed in her kimono, she seems very pleased. I love that outfit. It seems like you. It seems like you loved it too. You can keep your eyes off me, Koji. <laughs> did you deliberately order a small size? Did you deliberately order a small size? Maybe. Uh, no, no. Knowing you, you definitely did. Ah, you seriously don't believe that I would use my body to en my body to entice you, Koji? Yes, yes, you would. She just laughs. 
It sounds like it sounds like you've got me figured out. Both of us are sitting on the steps of the shrine. I'm like, it sounds like you've got me figured out. There. Both of us are sitting on the steps of the shrine. So, have you had fun with me, Koji? You aren't feeling lonely now, are you? Mm, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've had a lot of fun with Akina, even though I've only spent a few days with her. Well, I'm not going to say anything for certain just yet. Just yet. But I think, but I think I am attracted to her. What about you, Akina? <clears throat> granting my wish has been, sorry, granting my wish hasn't been too much of a bother for you, has it? Uh, sorry, granting my wish hasn't been too much of a bother for you, has it? Hmm, well, like, granting my wish hasn't been too much of a bother for you, has it? Sorry, yeah. No, not at all. And that's when I notice her inching across the steps, closer and closer to me. Closer and closer to me. Eventually, she's right next to me. You're a wonderful, you're a wonderful person, Koji. Even though you really don't know where you should look, even though you really- <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> something better. Again, sorry, again. That's like almost every time. No, it's like we're saying it. Even though you really don't- Even though you- Sorry. Even though you really don't know where you should look most of the time. Hey, if you're going to give me an open- <coughs> Hey, if you're going to- <coughs> Hey, if you give me an open invitation to look, what do you expect me to do, Akino? It's obviously to test you, don't you see? Well, if it's testing whether or not I like girls, then I've de <laughs> Well, if it's testing whether or not I like girls, then I've definitely passed the test. No, to test whether or not you're a pervert. You really are a cheeky fox, you know. Cheeky fox, you know. I am well aware. You tell me all the time, after all. <laughs> it's then that I notice a, uh, a shy expression on- <clears throat> A- Sorry, it's then that I notice a shy expression on her face? I'm cold. I'm cold, Koji. Eh? You are? Eh? You are? <coughs> Sorry. Eh? You are? You are? But I, th but I thought you said... No, I'm cold. She begins to shiver on the spot. Oh, I, oh, I see what she's doing. Mind if I get a bit closer? For warmth, of course. For warmth, of course. Sorry. <coughs> Mind if I get a bit closer? For warmth, of course. Well, if I needed any more of a blatant hint... <laughs> of a blatant hint. Go, go ahead, Akina. Go ahead, Akina. She slips underneath my arm and huddles closer to me. Huddles closer to me. With a gentle smile on her face as she nuzzles up against my chest. That's much be that's much better, Koji. It's much warmer here than it is out there. <laughs> this girl. This girl. So cute. She's so damn cute that I think my blood is going to turn <laughs> She's so damn cute that I think my blood is going to turn to sugar is going to turn into sugar. I like spending time with you, Koji. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe it's just doing your voice. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. I like spending time. I like spending time with you, Koji. I like spending time with you, Koji. Even with the priest here, it, it does. <clears throat> Sorry. Even with the priest here, it does. Even with the priest here, it does get lonely. Really? <laughs> yes, but with you here, I don't feel alone at all. For the briefest mo for the briefest moment, I see something past that usual smile of hers. She looks extremely happy. It's then that the priest comes up to us. <laughs> Akina, Akina, we have a problem. Oh, what is it? What is it? They found out about the loophole you were. They found out about the loophole you were exploiting. Uh, oh, oh. <clears throat> oh, I see. Then that means. Yes, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Sir. What? What's over? I can. I can. Looks sad. Loophole? What's that supposed to mean? Sorry, Koji, but we won't be able to spend time together anymore. Uh, uh? What do you mean? What do you mean? It means exactly what I said. Your wish has been granted. Sir. <clears throat> Your wish has been granted. You spent Christmas You spent Christmas with a friend. Not Christmas Day, but Christmas. She seems really shaken. Now that your wish is granted, I have no more reason to leave the shrine with you. So I'm sorry, Koji. Wait, can we just talk about this, Akina? Tell me what's going on. This isn't- this isn't like her at all. She wouldn't just give up like that. What's happening is simple. I've granted your wish, so I can't leave the shrine to go with you on Christmas. I'm sorry, but I have to follow the rules. If I didn't, they might punish me for it. If I didn't, they might punish me for it. Who might? Who might? She just shakes her head. Please, just let me go. I was being selfish the whole time. So just let me go. So, so just let me go. So just let me go. She stands up then, trembling the entire time. Walking to the shrine, she disappears from sight completely. The priest just looks at me sadly. You're wondering why, aren't you? Of course, of course I'm wondering why. I can look like I can look like she was suffering. 
Well, yes, she was. You couldn't see it, but she was having a conversation with the spirit realm. What? What? What happened? Well, you know how she was spending time with you over these last few days? She was actually exploring a loophole. A loophole? What kind of loophole? I think you need to understand her position at this shrine a little bit better. He takes a seat next to me, looking up at the sky. Spirits who take on the duty of caretake caretaking for a shrine have an absolute obligation. Basically, sorry, I messed up the moment. Basically, that means that she has to stay at this shrine at all times. What? How is that fair? So you're telling me that so you're telling me that the reason why she hasn't seen the town in years was, sorry. So you're telling me that the reason she why she sorry. So you're telling me that the reason why she hasn't seen the town in years was because she couldn't was sorry. Oh my god. So you're telling me that the reason why she hasn't seen the town in years was because she couldn't leave? Yes, yes. She was really excited to see what had changed since the last time she since the last time she went. But it looks like it's going to be a long time before she can see it again. The priest lets out a weary sigh. <sighs> they tend to look down on her, since this shrine is not very popular. Not very popular. Since this shrine is not very popular. Since it seems like she's doing a poor job of of promoting the shrine, the spirit realm assumes it's because she's not taking her duty seriously. It's just a shame. Did she have a choice in whether or not she had attended the shrine of the first had attended the shrine? Sorry. Did she have a choice in whether or not she had attended the attended the shrine in the first place? She told me that she volunteered that she volunteered for it. But but even though she fully knew the details of the position, I don't think she's adjusted well to this life. She says she's fine, but she says she. She says she's fine. She says she has me here. But the truth but the truth is that she's lonely. But the truth is that she's lonely. Just like I was. So what was this loophole you talked about? Basically you made a very vague wish. Your wishes would enable her to your wishes would enable her to leave this shrine for a little while. She said you want you wish for a friend to spend Christmas with. Yes, yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. So she was so she wasn't just fulfilling my wish. She was also trying to reach out to someone as well. I don't blame you for not noticing. She tried her best to hide her worries. She wanted to have as much fun as she could before her time ran out. So basically, by using my wish as an excuse to leave the shrine. She was able to stick to the rules she was bound by, and she was able to forget about her worries and enjoy being carefree for a bit. But they, but they figured out what she was doing. But they figured out what she was doing. So now she won't be able to leave the shrine or her, or her domain. I never knew that she felt that way. Yet she tried so hard so, so that I wouldn't. <clears throat> sorry. Yet she, yet she tried so hard that I wouldn't notice. Sorry. Yet she, yet she. Oh my God, sorry. Yet she tried so hard so that I wouldn't notice. Notice. Sorry. She, oh my God, sorry. Yet she tried so hard so that I wouldn't notice. Where is she now? <clears throat> I want to speak with. I want to speak with her. <clears throat> sorry. I want to speak with her. I don't think she'll want to speak with. I don't think. Sorry. I don't think she'll want to speak with you right now. What? 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 Why not? What? Why not? What? Why not? Mm, no, I like. What? Why not? Mm. What? Why not? Mm. What? Why not? Mm, no, that, sorry, sorry, messed it up. What? Why not? If I had to take a guess, she probably feels like she was being selfish. She's questioning whether or not it was right to grant your wish in the way she did. So, I don't know what to tell you. There's not much that can be done about it. He stands up, dusting his robes off. He stands up, dusting his robes off. The only thing you can do for now is go home. But, there has to be something I can do for- There has to be something I can do for her. For her. I honestly don't know. Spend some time thinking about it. Spend some time thinking about it. But there's nothing more than we can do today. Even though I don't know- Even though I don't want to acknowledge that, I understand that there's no sense in staying here at the moment. No! <clears throat> How can this happen? No, Makina! Oh, man. I haven't seen the ending yet, but I'm gonna take a wild guess right now and just assume that I become the priest of the shrine. <laughs> Ellipses dots. Mm -hmm. No. Akina, Akina. I can't get that fox out of my head. When did I start feeling about her that way? When, when I first saw her. It was love at first sight, baby. It's weird. Between all of the teasing, I suddenly became, you know, I don't even know what it what it is. Sorry, I don't even know what it is I like about her. But there's something undeniably charming about that fox. 
She's really cute when she isn't pulling pranks or teasing someone. The dejected look in her face as she walks back into the shrine. Seeing her ears and her tail droop like that. I can't stand it. I don't, I don't want I don't want to see her like that. I don't want to see her like that. To see someone so happy have all of, all of the joy sucked out of her in a single moment. No one has any right to do no one has any right to do that. So I've decided that I'm going to make sure that we'll go on our Christmas <clears throat> Sorry. So I've decided that I'm going to make sure that we'll go on our Christmas So I've decided that I'm going to make sure that we'll go on our Christmas date. That we'll go on our Christmas date. And that's just something that has to happen, and nothing is going to stop me from doing that. After all, she deserves happiness. After all, she deserves happy after all. She deserves happiness. I know she I know she has the priest for company, but not being able to leave that shrine. It isn't right. It isn't right. So so the only thing I can do right now is try to appeal to the spirits. If there's one thing that speaks in this world, it's money. <laughs> it's money. I've gathered quite a generous offering. The spirits won't be able to ignore this, no matter what they do. With that in mind, I think I'll be able to do it. I should plan what I should plan where sorry. <clears throat> sorry. With that in mind, I think I'll be able to do it. I should, I should plan what we're going to do on Christmas Eve. Maybe she'd like to eat ice cream. Or maybe we could make our own snow cones. Maybe candy canes are, some, are something she... Sorry. Maybe candy canes are something she'd like to try. Or something she'd like to try. There's so many fun things we could do today. To, sorry. There's so many fun things we could do together. The most important thing is that I get her... Sorry. The most important thing is that I get to see her... Sorry. <clears throat> sorry. The most important thing is that I get to see her smile. I don't know what makes that I don't know I don't know what makes that girl happy, but I'll do whatever I can to make it happen. She deserves it she deserves a day of happiness after all. <clears throat> Sorry. She deserves a day of happiness after all. After all, if I had to stay in a single place for the rest of my life, I would be absolutely miserable. She understood my loneliness. She reached out to me because she knew what it was like. And most of all, she doesn't want me to suffer in the same way that she does. Underneath all those pranks and that easygoing nature of hers, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed that a reality was so harsh? <clears throat> sorry, I guess I guess you can't judge a I guess you can't judge a book by sorry. Oh my God. <sighs> I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. I guess you can't. <clears throat> sorry. Oh my God. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. You never know what stories they're hiding behind their smiles. You never know what stories they're hiding behind their smiles. I don't know where it's all going to go with Akina. Or if I'll even, or if I'll be able to do anything to help relieve that shrine, but even if worse comes to, but even if worse comes to worst, I'll still be able to see her throughout the year. I'll still be able to see her throughout the year. I'll make sure that she never spends another day of her life alone. That is my most sincere wish of all. For Christmas, I want Akina to be happy. I want Akina to be happy, and I don't want to see her tears. And if I, and if I do, I'll dry them. My, and if I do, I'll dry them myself and make sure that she's going to be happy. If she's happy, then I'm happy. Jesus, help me. <laughs> Ellipses, da da da, all right. Well, <clears throat> well, well, I admit that school uniform was nice, but that's overshadowed by everything else that happened yesterday. I had no idea that Akina was so lonely, but now that I know, I can do something to help her. Since then, I've been, since then, I've been very busy. I found a ton of spare coins lying around in my apartment. I've assembled, I've assembled them, sorry, I've assembled, sorry, I've assembled them all into a single bag. I've, assen I've assembled them all into a single bag. If I'm with the spirit realm or whatever it is to hear what I'm saying, then I need to make an appropriate offering to them. If they're happy with loose chains, then how would they, then how would they react to this offering? Then how would they react to this offering? Still, I don't know, still, I don't have to, sorry. Still, I don't have to do, I don't have to do that right away. <clears throat> sorry. Still, I don't have to do that right away. Even though I like to get, even though I like to get it out of the way, even though I like to get it out of the way, still there's still sorry, even though I like to get it out of the way, there's still there's still time before Christmas. Make an offering, season it's cafe, stay home. Wow, okay, well that's all the time we got for this and everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave. Uh, sorry that uh, my reading got a little messed up at the end. Sorry about that. <sighs> just I guess the voices are gonna. I'm sorry for grunting so much during this whole series. I guess just maybe doing a voice or something. Alright, I kind of do this the video second, so I don't know. Must be about the first video. I don't know. Sorry, but I'm rambling.
<laughs> Sorry, it must be the voices or something. Uh, something to make me cough or grunt. Sorry about that, everybody. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like below. If there's any other games you'd like me to play or just want to talk, please comment down below as well. And if you like this and would like to see more, please that subscribe button and the notification bells. That would be epically appreciated of you. As always, my name is Cherryboy. My goal in life is to make you smile. And I just want to say real quick, guys, thank you so much for the support and showing me and stuff. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my backup channel, Cherryboy2, in case something happens in this channel. Just want to be safe. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, and hope you all have happy holidays and a Merry Christmas, everybody. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! See ya!